Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Monday, July 29th, 2024. Well, we have unsettled conditions throughout the region this morning with overcast cloud cover and some areas of showers, especially around Connecticut, Long Island, and the Hudson River Valley. More isolated showers as you head down towards the Philadelphia metro with, temp with temperatures ranging from the upper 60s to lower 70s over the northern interior, lower to mid 70s along the coast with winds from the west southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour with an area of low pressure out here towards the Cape around 1,010 millibars in pressure. Not very strong. You can see that very nicely out here. Again, more bark than bite. You have a lot of showers here, but a lot of this is not reaching the ground. Again, compare this setup, when you would expect showers all over the place, to these observations where we have some showers in the Poconos that are being reported. Uh, most of your rainfalls out here, not much going on in New Jersey, not much going on in southeastern Pennsylvania. But if you look at the radar, there's quite a bit of showers hanging around. Down towards southern New Jersey, you have a thunder shower down towards Wildwood, but that's about it. Okay, and so we're going to continue to have these showers rotate through the region. Otherwise, cloudy skies are expected. Now, why are we seeing that? Well, when we have our infrared satellite picture with our upper level low, notice we're not seeing a whole lot of lifting here, not a lot of cold cloud tops. So this is generally a weak upper level low. It literally formed yesterday morning and just meandered about over the Atlantic and backed in towards Long Island this morning and will drift up towards New England and open up as a trough. And that's going to lead to plenty of cloud cover for today and some areas of showers. Uh, down as you head more towards the Philadelphia metro, you have a better chance of seeing some more breaks. As you head towards Connecticut, more likely just an overcast day with plenty of showers. So, if you have outdoor plans not looking good around the New York City metro and especially around Long Island and Connecticut, as you head down towards Philadelphia, you got a better chance of seeing just dry conditions with some breaks here and there, sun. So let's dive into this forecast for today. A few scattered showers look for high temperatures ranging from the upper 70s to lower 80s over Long Island, lower to mid 80s everywhere else. For tonight into tomorrow, overcast cloud cover with a few isolated showers look for low temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s. For tomorrow afternoon, mixed sun and clouds, a few pesky showers hanging around, high temperatures in the lower to mid 80s. On Wednesday, a stationary front will hang around the region with a weak wave of low pressure producing scattered showers. Looks like more bark than bite once again on the model guidance as we have seen for much of the past couple of weeks where it, if you get hit with a shower, it's going to be some heavier downpour. If you don't, it's just going to remain cloudy and muggy with low temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s and high temperatures ranging from the upper 70s to lower 80s over the interior and along the coast, mid to upper 80s in the Delaware River Valley. On Thursday, scattered cloud cover is expected with only an isolated shower threat. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 60s over the northern interior, upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast. High temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s over the northern interior, upper 80s to lower 90s along the coast, and lower to mid 90s in the Delaware River Valley. On Friday, a stationary front hanging around the region once again with variable cloud cover and a few widely scattered showers. Again, more bark than bite. If we get a thunder shower to develop, it will produce some heavier rainfall. And so the model guidance doesn't do a great job with trying to depict that. So basically, let's just say you got a thunderstorm here, you got a thunderstorm out here, maybe one over central New Jersey, and the rest of the region is pretty quiet certainly see that type of setup play out. Look for low temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s and high temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 80s over the northern interior, mid to upper 80s along the coast and upper 80s to lower 90s in the Delaware River Valley. On Saturday again and Sunday really as well, you have a stationary front hanging around with Mix of sun and clouds and a few pesky showers and thunderstorms. Again, not a washout, but you know, just keep an eye on the skies. Look for low temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s over the northern interior, lower to mid 70s along the coast. High temperatures range from the mid to upper 80s over the interior, mid to upper 80s along the coast, and upper 80s to lower 90s in the Delaware River Valley. Now, I'm sure you're keeping an eye on this feature down here. They're like, hey, what's this? It looks like a tropical system. 
There's a chance in the next five to seven days that we could see a tropical low pressure system organize around the Bahamas and try to make a run up the coast. However, there is a lot we don't know. I explained this in detail in the premium video discussion. So if you're interested in that information, definitely check out the subscription, only $15 a month. But I will say this for Monday, for Monday's forecast, there's a lot we don't know this could easily remain out in the Atlantic or not develop at all. Regardless, we have a stationary front hanging around, so it's going to lead to a mix of sun and clouds with scattered showers a threat, with low temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s and high temperatures ranging from the upper 70s to lower 80s over the interior and along the coast and lower to mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley. That is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.